Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick overview of my mod setup here. It's a dual mod resonance setup. The power supply of the entire thing is here. It's a variable power supply. And here's the mod setup on a glass plate as an insulation. Um, we have two microwave oven transformers and four capacitors in total. And on the primary we also have a little capacitor for, uh, for the power factor correction. Then here we have the electrodes. They are on two of these buckets and insulated from them using this glass plate. Okay, here we have the power supply. We have a variable transformer here to adjust the output voltage. Then here we have a voltage preview meter, so we can see the voltage before it's actually at the output of the power supply. Then here we have the meter for the output voltage. And there is also a special feature in this power supply. And it is that with this switch here we can bypass the variac. So, in a case like, for example, with this mod setup, we can just flip the switch and then the variac is bypassed and the high power, which could potentially destroy it, isn't going over the variable transformer. Then with this one we can power the voltage preview meter and with this one we can power up the output of the power supply. Here we have an amp meter to see the output current of the power supply. It goes from 0 to 25 amps and in theory it even goes up to 50 amps here. Then we have an output fuse, a breaker to be more precise. It's a 20 amp breaker. And just for fun I put in this key switch here so that no unauthorized people or persons can operate this unit. And here we have this switch here, which this, if you push the switch and the switch on the arcing stick, um, which is out of frame right now, but never mind, um, then the power supply output gets live. You can also short these two terminals with, for example, this black jumper over here, and then the output gets live as soon as you flip this switch but at the moment it's not wired like that for safety reasons. Okay, here we have the main mod setup, so to speak. Here are the two microwave oven transformers. They are pretty big transformers and weigh each about something around four kilograms, which I think translates into like eight pounds. So they're one of the bigger kind. Here we have the power input filter capacitor, which is mainly just used for power factor correction since the MOTs draw quite a high current with no load, since they are quite cheaply built and use very small cores. And so even at the nominal voltage, they are almost saturating the cores. Then here we have the two resonant capacitors on each side. For each MOT we have two, so in total we have around one microfarad. Um, the reason I'm using two on each side is obviously because each capacitor is just rated at about 2000 volts and the two transformers are connected like that so that we have about 4.2 kilovolts output. So these two are in parallel and these two groups are in series so that we get 4 kilovolts so that the capacitors don't blow up. Then here, as you have probably noticed, we have a huge mass of cables. This is the grounding installation with basically some clips to short out the capacitors and also these rods here to also short them out. And then here on the primary side, we also have these clips to short out the primary so that if the voltage gets turned on accidentally there will be a short circuit and the circuit breaker will instantly trip. Hopefully um, protecting anyone who's working around the setup. And also here we can see the button I mentioned on the arc stick. This button and the button on the power supply have to be pressed 
at the same time so that the output can go live. Then here we have the chicken stick or the ox stick. It's quite long, about 80 centimeters, which translates into almost three foot. It is connected through this 16 kilovolt high voltage cable for safety, of course, since the output of each transformer has a voltage of about 2100 volts to ground. And up here we have the electrodes, which are also connected through a high voltage wire. Here we have a big piece of iron, which is one electrode we can use, or we have this copper plate here, which has baking soda on it. So if we draw an arc through the baking soda, the arc should become very brightly yellow and also a bit longer, actually. I've measured it to be through the baking soda, the arc is about 15 centimeters longer, so about half a foot, I would say. So yeah, let's go on and I'll show you some arcing and also the current draw on the primary side. Okay, here we are. I have the arcing stick here. I'm wearing at the moment, for safety of course, some these high voltage rubber gloves which are designed to insulate a voltage of up to 17,000 volt AC and 25,500 volts DC. Of course, they were checked before this test. And yeah, let's draw some arcs. And afterwards, we'll see the current draw. Right over there, um, we have the plug of the power supply. And here we have the electrode array. Okay, now we are ready. Um, could you please turn on the output? Perfect. Okay, let's go. Hitting the switch. Power supply is running. Okay, now these were the arcs on the iron piece. Let's go a bit more extreme and pull some arcs through the baking soda. Um, I warn you, this is going to be extremely bright, so um, I hope the camera can capture it well. And yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, the output is now live. And go. Those were the arcs through the baking soda. As you can probably tell from the video, they are way brighter and actually also quite a bit longer. In total, they're probably about 65 centimeters or so, which equals about a tiny bit over two foot. So yeah, they were very long. And let's go over to the current measurements to see how much current we are drawing and so we can calculate what the output power is. Okay everyone, 
this was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, the channel I'm posting it on is actually a backup channel for a main channel that I'm going to start up in, I guess, a few months or so. Um, so definitely look out for that. I will probably also post an update as soon as the other channel is ready. And yeah, there we'll go into even greater detail with this setup. I will do some secondary voltage and current measurements and I'll probably even add a third capacitor to each side to um, improve the resonance even more. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and hope I see you guys soon. Bye.